today is the actual date of that appointment for my hand, that EMG testing. Hey guys, hey, uh, it is Monday and it's 12.40 and we are waiting in line at Walmart, no, we are at Walgreens um, to give them my new insurance card, aka my old insurance card with the same information and then have them put that in the system so that I can pick up the other two or three medications that I was not able to pick up the other day. Also, today is the actual date of that appointment for my hand, that EMG testing. Uh, remember, I went there and then I found out that it was that exact date, but a month later. So I went August 16th and it's September 16th or something like that. So um, we are two hours early. I had to go here first and I go, okay, after I go here into the bank, we'll have enough time to get to the location. The location is not two hours away and I have two hours to go. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to do so I don't have to go back home. It's not too far, but it is like two exits or what I, oh, you know, away. So I'm not exactly sure, but we're gonna do this first and then wing it, I guess. All right, so I realized that I should vacuum my car and it's out of order. I'm here at the gas station, which you probably can't even see. But you can see the air, and then the vacuum is right here, and it's not working. So, I'm going to go find one, and I think that should take up some time. But I couldn't get my medication. She's like, this is the, the, the insurance that's, like, in the system. So, I'm like, I was just here two days ago, and a woman said that this was not the insurance that was in the system. And to bring the new card. She goes, I don't want to tell you, but it is in the system. So I'm like, what a fucking waste. I'm so, I don't understand when you guys all use the same fucking computer that you guys don't see the same goddamn thing. I, I, it just pissed me off. Like, I don't live nearby. I live in the middle of nowhere. So for me to drive out of, out of nowhere just to get to somewhere, I expect something out of it. Especially when you tell me one thing and then another thing the next. I am an hour early. I was going, I was headed like towards the direction of the clinic, but wanted to stop at like a gas station to find a new location to um, vacuum my car. But then I got sidetracked and forgot when my, like I was all in my head, big time, like, yeah. Anyway, so I ended up like almost here and I go, there's no gas station anywhere. So I'm here. Oh well. Um, but I'm an hour early and don't know what to do. I'm like, I'm thinking maybe I'll just go in there, go to the bathroom because I gotta go and hope that maybe since I'm there, they'll take me earlier. I'm not sure. Um, and then we'll go from there. But after this, so I've been packing like a lot uh, today anyway and cleaning while doing so. Because when you pack, things get messy. So I'm kind of doing both of that, and when I get home, I'm going to pack a little bit more. Well, I'm not even packing, I'm kind of just putting everything together on the floor in a corner, and um, and then I'll like put it in place in the luggage, stuff like that. Ugh, what else, what else? No, I am not looking forward to this appointment because I hear it's very uncomfortable and slightly painful, and well, nobody wants any of that, right guys? Since we are early, why not do this? It should be normal, but who knows? funny because I just got a comment about my post in my vlog yesterday and someone was like 124 over I think it was like 89 is uh, not high blah, blah 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 but when I tried to explain this wow okay yeah anyway so technically that is high
floor one going up. So the nurse just came in here to have me change and she basically said that we can keep the phones and all my stuff can stay in here or I can bring it with me in the exam room. But in the exam room, no phones. Well, the phones are allowed, but they have to be turned off because of like, you know, electricity and, you know, affecting the machines in there. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know how much it affects it. exactly how everything went all right so let me give you the scoop um, the, the doctor didn't seem like he really cared for his job I mean he was nice and you know he was there to tell me like if anything is wrong if you don't feel good just let us know but he just seemed like he was ready for the day to be over I don't know he wasn't rushing or anything but just wasn't happy um, anyway, so the test. The first part that you always hear about was not what I was expecting. Um, it was, I think definitely the word is uncomfortable. It didn't necessarily hurt. Um, but since I, the first time, the very first jolt, I mean, I moved my arm back so quick. He goes, is that a shocker? I was like, yes. But now I know I like, I put my brain to think like, okay, it's not bad, you can get through it. And it wasn't horrible, there were certain sections or certain parts of like my arm that were more painful. The worst was when he um, like shot my uh, elbow. That was a no-go. It was really bad. I'm out of breath, guys. Um, yeah, so that was eh. But you know, it wasn't horrible. And then when he went and did the second part, the actual test with the needle, like once he got like my that you know same thing I, think I had to wait for the first time to feel it and then I knew what to expect um when I got better until he got to the hand and as soon as he said he's got to do my thumb it was so painful but it was the very last one and like I've read it's quick so it's once the needle goes in it's in and once it's in it's in and it's they don't go poking around they just poke and that's they don't poke and like move it around Okay, I gotta sit. I'm like right here with the cars and just, I need to sit. So, I mean, it wasn't horrible. He did say, he goes, from what I'm looking at, um, cause he's the one who does a test and like the results. He goes, from what I've seen, I don't really see anything like outrageous, like nerve issues or something, but he goes, but I will need to like really look through it all and, and like take a, 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 a closer look at the results and then he'll forward them to my um what do you call it, rheumatologist tomorrow he goes, she'll have it by tomorrow so anyway who knows what's gonna happen but let's go home Hey guys, it's been many, 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 many hours. I've been doing a lot since I've been home. I have yet to repaint over that pink. One day I will. It'll be like a year from now. Anyway, I had to do more packing. Um, I got most of it done. And I have to drop over a package to a child who lives here in the same state in almost the same town as me. So I'm actually excited to do a in-home drop-off and take photos and stuff um, but I'm going to take a shower I might even take a bath um, and uh, and get in bed so um, yeah that's what happened for tonight and I will see you guys mañana